not fond of learning. I hope you are keeping safe. And we are going to be talking about grammar. And in our last class, we learned about parts of speech. Our topic for today will be part of speech, but we'll be considering some other parts of speech we've not learned before. Before we start, we go to our part of speech song. There are eight parts, there are eight parts, there are eight parts of speech. There are eight parts, there are eight parts, there are eight parts of speech. We have eight parts of speech. We have the noun, the pronoun, the verb, the adverb, the adjective, the preposition, interjection, and conjunction. These are the eight parts of speech. But in this lesson, we'll be considering just four parts of speech, which includes the noun, the verb, the adjective, and the adverb. Now, what is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, animal, place, or thing. What is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, animal, place, or thing. Now, what are names of persons? Names of persons include Ada, Amina, James, Joy, Daniel, Douglas. Any name of a person are parts of noun. Then animals, cat, dog, squirrel, rat, chicken, all these are names of animal. Names of places, we have airport, school, hospital, market, Joss, Buku, Abuja, all these are names of places. The names of things or objects include chair, book, chalk, phone, table, board. All these are names of uh, things. Now, we are going to look at the next part of speech, which is the adjective. Now, what's an adjective? An adjective is a word that modifies a noun. It's a word that modifies a noun. What does that mean? It tells you more about the noun. Example, tall. Old, beautiful, handsome, blue, all these are examples of adjectives. Now, let's identify this adjective in sentences. Eze is a tall boy. Eze is a tall boy. The word tall is the adjective. Eze is the noun in the sentence. I told you that adjective modifies and it tells you more about the noun. Now, another sentence. Ada is a beautiful girl. Ada is a beautiful girl. Ada is a noun. Beautiful is the adjective. It tells you how Ada looks like. The old woman can't walk again. The old woman can't walk again. Woman is the noun. Old is the adjective. Telling you about how the woman looks like. The woman is an old woman. Now, the next part of you to be considering is verb. What is a verb? A verb is an action word, doing word, or happening word. Again, a verb is an action word, doing word, or happening word. Now, examples of a verb. Jump, cry, laugh, talk, eat, sleep. All these are examples of verb. Now, let's identify this verb in sentences. John is eating his bread. John is eating his bread. Eating is the ad, ad, is the verb there because it tells us the action John is doing. Now another sentence is Amina bought a new shoe. Amina bought a new shoe. Bought is the verb because it tells us what Amina did. Also the children are playing. The children are playing. Playing is the action word in the sentence. It tells you what the children are doing. Now, we are going to be considering the next one, which is adverb. An adverb. Pupils, I know you have more examples to give on your own. So, as the class goes on, you give more examples on your own. But let's go to the next one, which is the adverb. What is an adverb? An adverb modifies a verb. An adverb modifies the verb. It tells you more about the verb. Examples of adverb include suddenly, immediately, hurriedly, 
slowly, quickly, well, all these are examples of adverb. Now, let's identify adverb as used in the sentence. The first sentence is, he dresses well to school. He dresses well to school. The verb is dresses, while the adverb is well. It tells you how he dresses to school. Then we ha also have, she eats horridly. She eats horridly. Horridly eats the adverb. Eats is the verb. It tells you how she eats. Also, we also have the boat suddenly rocked. The boat suddenly rocked. Suddenly eats the adverb. Why rocked is the verb. It tells you how the, the boat rocked. She walks quickly to school. She walks quickly to school. Walk is the verb. Quickly is the ad adverb in the sentence. Pupils, I know you have most sentences to give to me. So, before the end of the class, you are going to get some notes to copy on the topic given in the noun, the verb, the adjective, and the adverb. If there are questions, you can drop it on the platform. We'll get back to you. Have a blessed day.